everyone hello people welcome welcome to lapis lazuli it's always so exciting uh, to be able to have you my name is liz and i'm mike odualo it's always a pleasure you know we are looking forward that today we could be able to come back yes 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 it's been Long. quite some time but we are glad that we yeah. are here today mm. very excited to talk about a very exciting topic yeah yeah it's, it's it's amazing that you can be able to talk about this so i don't know why you joined today maybe it's because you just read and you are like let me see what these people are talking about yes but the honest truth this is a very important topic very important yeah. and uh, in fact it is uh, one of the topics that is most misunderstood mm. misused mm. and uh, all the wrong things so what are we talking about today we're talking about sex. sex okay now i don't know what comes to your mind when you hear sex or uh, even when you read that what came to your mind because I know um, many times, uh, even as we were growing up, we, the way we viewed sex or the way we would even talk about it, mm -hmm. were we even supposed to talk about it? No, I think for me, uh, the one I remember is uh, yeah. sex was a no-no. It was a taboo. It was a taboo word, a taboo topic. Mm. I actually don't remember my parents uh, talking to me about sex. No, they were not supposed to. I think the way the culture was then, Yeah. You, we were not supposed to, you know, as in, we, nobody ever talked about it. Actually, I think for me, what I remember about yeah. sex when I was young yeah. is that it was tabiambaya. It was, yes. Yes, actually, that's what they would call it. Yes. Mm. So anytime you hear about tabiambaya, for those of us who do not understand Kiswahili, tabiambaya means uh, bad manners. So anytime we heard about sex, it was bad manners mm. me i think when i had uh of it mostly mm -hmm. uh um, sometimes we would just be told as girls you know if you play with boys mm -hmm. you know you will suffer you will cry you know you'll get pregnant so those are the things that we would hear actually it would come out more as a threat yeah rather than advice or being talked uh mm -hmm. to or or uh, directed yeah so i remember being very confused yeah that if i play with a boy i'll get pregnant and then i'll cry and then i'll get a bad disease you know those are just yeah. the things that would be said and so i remember that's how it was you know yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and so the truth is really mm. our bringing our uh, our society yeah uh demonize mm, sex mm. and so anytime you hear about sex mm. first of all you just hear it in dark corners yeah. or in very private places mm. and uh, you know families don't talk about it yeah. and so i think uh, we've grown up knowing all the wrong things yeah. about sex mm -hmm. and never nothing good about it so that's why today uh as we've been thinking we thought it's important for us to look at the bigger picture yeah why do we need to talk about sex? Mm -hmm. What did God have in mind? Because mm -hmm. actually, mm -hmm. sex is not a bad thing. Yeah. It is actually a gift from God. Yeah. But uh, many people misuse it. Mm -hmm. You know, we misunderstand it. Mm -hmm. You know, people take advantage of it. Yeah. You know, and uh, they, they, we have demonized it, exactly. as you're saying. Exactly. You know? Yeah. And uh, so it's important for us are Christians mm -hmm. to be able to start changing that narrative mm -hmm. and being able to start talking about sex in the right way. Exactly. Now, we're not saying that you go and start talking to your two-year-old about sex. Mm -hmm. We'll definitely talk about it and how to go about it. Yeah. But what we are saying first and foremost is that we must demystify this and agree mm -hmm. that sex is not evil. Yeah. It is right. Yeah. Uh, when it's done in the right way and exactly. the right place. And I'm thinking mm. that even at two years old, yeah. we should still talk about yes. sex. Yes. The only thing though is yeah. what do we talk to them about. Yeah. There is what they can know, yeah. there is what they should know, yeah. and there is what they should not know about it. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe the best place to start is mm. what does the Bible say about sex? Mm. Does the Bible talk about sex? Because mm. I know there are many scriptures that talk about sex. Mm. And uh, many times, uh, even in the scriptures, mm. the many things that we know about mm. is uh, the scriptures that condemn 
having sex, sexual immorality and all that. Mm -hmm. But there are also other scriptures that just tell us about who we are. Yeah. Uh, like I'm remembering the passage that talks to us, uh, you know, we are wonderfully and I fearfully made. Yeah. God is talking about us everything and about everything us. about us. Mm. The Bible tells us in the book of Genesis that when God created uh, Adam, uh, for the first time yeah. and Eve and yeah. all that, he looked at them mm -hmm. and everything about them were beautiful. Yeah. In fact, mm -hmm. it is when Adam and Eve fell into sin yeah. that they actually started being ashamed. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking one of the things they were ashamed mm -hmm. about is mm -hmm. about their sexuality, mm -hmm. about their sex organs yeah. and all that and they were like no, no, yeah. no maybe there is something this thing is not supposed to be yeah but if you look at god yeah. and how he did it originally yeah everything was good mm -hmm. nothing was demonized yeah everything was perfect mm -hmm. and that was it yeah that's so true mm -hmm. that's so true so as we are saying today we really wanted to just talk about um, the fact that we are saying yeah. that it is okay to talk about it. Exactly. Definitely the levels mm -hmm. will matter. Yep. You know, what we talk as marriage mm -hmm. is different from what we'll talk about with our children. That's true. You know, what we'll talk to a two-year-old mm -hmm. is not what we'll talk to a teenager. Yep. You know, so those are the things that we'll start talking about. Yeah. But one thing that we are agreeing is mm -hmm. that as parents, mm -hmm. Our important goal mm -hmm. is to equip mm -hmm. and empower our children exactly. to be able to face this world. Yeah. You know, one of the things that we honestly don't uh, realize, mm -hmm. um, like now for us, as we are saying, yeah. when we're growing up, yeah. you know, uh, probably people around us yeah. did not talk about it. Yeah. That does not mean that we didn't get to know. Actually, the yeah. truth is, yeah. I didn't hear anything about sex from my parents, but I had everything. From my peers, yeah. from my friends, mm -hmm. from colleagues, yeah. from school. Actually, I think my mm -hmm. my great memories of of sex in details mm -hmm. is in school, yeah. where now the teachers were teaching mm -hmm. us about sex and they were making some funny comments and they were, you know, going into some details yeah. that I wish somebody had taught me or told me earlier, but. I got the wrong things from the wrong people yeah. most of the time. Very sad indeed. And yeah. it's true. I think for me, I also heard from people around. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, one of the things that we don't really realize yeah. that uh, sex is happening everywhere, just be before, under our noses. Exactly. But we don't even realize it. Yeah. You know, we think that because we're not talking about it, yeah. they don't know. Yeah. We think we're protecting them. Actually, no. Yeah. They are actually hearing it, as Mike is saying, you yeah. know, from yeah. their peers. Yeah. You know, from their, uh, from school, yeah. as they walk home, yeah. somebody is approaching them. Someone is touching them in a bad or in a... In a, in a in an abusive way yeah. you know somebody maybe the house uh, um, masters or house uh, what they're helps. called helps yeah. you know who are in the, in the homes you know they yeah. are teaching them yeah. Yeah. you know so the the media mm -hmm. you know those days we used to watch the tv there was nothing but yeah. nowadays Actually, you, know, you know during our time even <clears throat> tv was very censored yes i remember you know tv would start uh, from uh, from four to eight uh, to I around uh, yeah to around nine and after mm -hmm. nine uh, it, they, yeah, it closes mm -hmm. until the following day but today it is 12 24 7 mm -hmm. and the content yeah. yeah yeah the content of what our children are watching is quite quite Concerning. Concerning. Exactly. And Even the we, cartoon. Sometimes yeah. you know we, we think our children are watching cartoons. Yeah. Some of them the, if you were to be honest and just go through it, yeah. you would be amazed at the things that are in there. Yeah. You know, so some of us, we think, ah, they are just watching cartoon. Yeah. If we are not talking about it with our children and empowering them, mm -hmm. there is somebody doing it. Either through a, a video or through a cartoon, yeah. you know. So it's important for us to be able to talk about it. So exactly. let's protect our children mm -hmm. by starting to talk about sex. So now, the next few weeks, what we are going to do is to talk about a few principles mm -hmm. on uh, how to be able to talk about sex 
-hmm. you know maybe different ages mm -hmm. how do we do it yeah. you know but even as we, we 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 start one of the things we are saying mm -hmm. is let's start even maybe start praying mm -hmm. that god can show you mm -hmm. what do i talk mm -hmm. you know sometimes you can start maybe feeling am i too late mm -hmm. you know what do my children know mm -hmm. what don't they know mm -hmm. you know um it's okay you can start from anywhere mm -hmm. you know all we need to know mm -hmm. is that as the parents mm -hmm. we have so much mm -hmm. that our children need to hear Mm -hmm. for us to be able to protect them. That is quite true. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking, I appreciate what you're saying, mm -hmm. and I'm thinking the very then best place to start is to look at what is the beauty of sex. Mm -hmm. Because as we've been talking, it's been demonized. Mm -hmm. But that is not it. Why uh, is, it, is it so? Because there is so much beauty about sex. The Bible says in the beginning, God created them man and female he created them one of the things that differentiate between a man and a woman is the sex the sexual anatomy mm -hmm. of man and of woman mm -hmm. and that is uh, no a beautiful part of each and every one of us because god created us separately and he gave Different, us yeah. very separate organs sexual organs and they are meant for very very beautiful things one of them being procreation that when god created men and female it was for them to go and multiply so sex in essence is not just for anything but it's help us to be able to procreate to be able to pass one generation to another and to another and to another but the other thing though is also for just pleasure for the enjoyment of the family and uh, not just the family but for the married couple and again i know that we'll be talking about this in details and giving us the very specifics of how sex is beautiful between married couples but before then we can get to see what are the ways we are able to bring up about sex in a manner that is pleasing and worthy before God so that we get the original meaning of sex and human sexuality as God intended it to be. Wow. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. So I think this is really uh, great and uh, I know that uh, our time is running so we will end there and uh, definitely uh, please check out for our next video. You know, I want to take this time to really appreciate those who have subscribed to our channel. Mm -hmm. uh, please continue subscribing. Let's continue talking about these topics that many times we'd rather not. Yeah. But we are saying that us not talking about it mm -hmm. does not help. Exactly. We've got to talk about it mm -hmm. for us to be able to help or to change even mm -hmm. if it's one person mm -hmm. you know uh, uh for the better you know yeah so thank you so much and so in uh, the next videos we are basically going to labor mm -hmm. to demystify the myths that people have uh, against sex bring out the beauty of sex but also to look at the many things that we can be able to learn so that we have the sex knowledge the way god intends it to be amen thank you bye